Every year, Total Wine & More adds to the knowledge our staff possesses of our special Winery Direct selection by visiting Napa and Sonoma Valley in California. This pilgrimage is a costly investment. With over 50 of our associates flying into California and spending an entire week learning about the terroir and viticulture that makes each vineyard, each wine, unique. It is an investment that no other retailer in the country is making. And we will continue to do it because we know that knowledge results in you, our valued customer, getting the best wine at the best value. Over the next few minutes, you'll get a glimpse of the 2011 trip and learn about some very special vineyards and meet some wonderful winemakers. Enjoy. My name's Phil Hurst. We're at Truett Hurst Winery. We're in the middle of a 26-acre biodynamic ranch, which we purchased about four years ago. And this project is a legacy project for our family. This is the home of Zinfandel and Petite Syrah in the heart of Dry Creek Valley. Zinfandel and Petite Syrah are really indigenous to this valley. And the style of wine that we like to make is big, rich, and bold. Customers that are looking for deep and dark and rich wines, they're typically going to go with big meals. Uh, you can't beat it. Grilled ribeye, bone in, a little melted blue cheese, maybe a little mushroom on the top. You know, so those customers that want a lot of flavor, a lot of bold richness, those are the kind of wines that we're making here. That's what we're all about. Mountain Appalachian has in and of themselves a unique difference from the valley floor. So that goes back to our cool climate, Arroyo Seco Estate for our Chardonnay, our mountain estate on Atlas Peak for our Cabernet. Atlas Peak is, uh, has just come into its own really as a mountain appellation and is starting to get a lot of recognition for that. And our New Zealand estate on Tamuna Road in Martinboro for our cross between Old World and New World Pinot Noir. Um, that's really the ultimate key right there is just that very specific single vineyard wines. Then you just get into flavor profile differences between the mountain appellations themselves. But those specific vineyards are our own and in what we believe are the best places available for that particular varietal. Add to that the value that we like to bring to the market. And then one more thing that really sets us apart, especially when we're talking about our Cabernet, is an extended aging program where we believe that even though you're getting a collectible mountain Cabernet, that has spent a couple of years in oak. We release them, we hold them in bottle for a couple of years as well. Our current release in Total Wine stores is the 2005 Cabernet, the Estate Cab. We go into the 2006 and fall of 2011 at the five year point. So that five year program really means for the consumer that they're getting something that's readier to drink than much of what's available on the shelf. This is Russell Bevan, and I'm excited to present to Total Wine the three wines this year that we blended 
hoping to give the Total Wine family something that they could be proud and excited to, uh, to share with their customers. The first wine is our 2008 Bevan Sellers Cabernet Sauvignon from the Chocolate Vineyard named David's Cuvée. And this is a Cabernet that I want to always be feminine and beautiful. It should show the blue fruits and red fruit core of real Cabernet Sauvignon, yet have the verve and energy and natural acidity to give you a, a long-lived wine that complements cuisine. We want our cabs to be massively concentrated, but have refined tannins and not be too drying on the back of the palate. They should be very approachable early, yet age for a decade and begin to show some of those beautiful tertiary Cabernet Sauvignon flavors. The second wine is our red wine that is half Cabernet Franc, half Cabernet Sauvignon that we call the uh, Double E Cuvée, uh, named for my buddy Eric Epstein. And this is a wine that the Franc component gives it some floral aromatics and a little more weight and concentration on the back of the palate. It's a larger scaled wine but it's still never hard and has very supple edges to it. It should age for 10 to 15 years, and already because of the Franc edition is showing really rich Cuban tobacco and cedar qualities to complement the Cabernet Sauvignon, which by the way came from the same lot as the David's Cuvée, our 2008 Cabernet Sauvignon. So we're using what we consider to be our best lots to blend into this wine. The last wine, which is the wine that you know, because of one of the Total Wine employees in uh, Sacramento, uh, we began believing in, and it's called Ontogeny. And this is a wine that is a combination of Cabernet Franc, Cabernet Sauvignon, and then there's little pieces of Petit Verdot and Merlot in it. And this wine is massive, yet it's got a really round plum middle and then a lot of minerality that comes through on the back end of this wine. And even before the critics went nuts for it, Matt Kim from Total Wine, he believed in this wine and promoted it. And, and he actually made us at the winery a, a believer. So this is a wine we gave a lot of to Total Wine and, and feel it's, it's an important part of our relationship with the chain.